these events was about 10 years ago now when I was a member of the governing board of the South Florida Water Management District. I, I want to congratulate uh, Chauncey Goss in the back of the room. Um, it is an awesome responsibility. It's incredibly important um, and it's, it's, it's wonderful work and you guys are going to be very well represented on that board. Um, I also spent about eight years um, as the uh, running the federal government's Everglades restoration effort. I was the director of Everglades restoration um, in the Obama and Trump administrations at the Department of the Interior. So I recently left about a year ago, and I'm now at the foundation. So it's wonderful to be to be with you. Um, so what I'm going to talk about, I usually do these things, and I usually do what Ray Ann just did. I'm I'm accustomed to. I'm an engineer by training. I'm accustomed to talking about. Uh, levees and canals and and critters and wetlands and uh, tonight I'm going to talk of, uh, um, I'm going to talk about this topic from a slightly different angle different for me but an angle that is increasingly important and I think it's an angle that more of us need to be talking about um, as we are explaining the restoration effort um, particularly to those folks who are not familiar with it. Um, particularly folks who are not from Florida and who may not fully appreciate um, how important the Everglades restoration effort is. So um, let me frame the Everglades restoration program in an exceedingly unromantic, unemotional uh, way. <clears throat> it is essentially an infrastructure program. When we talk about restoration as environmental restoration, folks get in their minds, I think, a certain vision, like we're out planting trees, or maybe we're stocking lakes, or we're doing that kind of work. Also, I find in my 25 years of doing this, I find that when we talk about ecosystem restoration um, of the Everglades, people also have a hard time comprehending the scale <coughs> at which we're working. But when we talk about it as for what it really is, which is an infrastructure program, suddenly light bulbs go on in everyone's mind. Oh, that's why it costs a billion dollars a year. I get it. Because the Miami District of the Florida Department of Transportation, just the Miami District, District 6, has an annual operating budget of $3.4 billion. Okay, just the Miami District of DOT. But do we, we don't blink when we hear this. And we don't even know those numbers most of the time, right? We understand that road infrastructure costs money, it, co it takes a lot of investment. And as I like to say to my good friends, and they are my good friends because they are the ones building the bridges on Tamiami Trail, um, my good friends at the Department of Transportation, I like to joke with him and I, I, with them and say that, um, but for our canals, you would have no roads. There would be no other infrastructure without the water management infrastructure in South Florida. Let's let's be very, very clear. For the vast majority of us, there would be no hospitals, there would be no airports, there would be no universities, there would be no roads, there would be no ports, there would be no railroad tracks, there would be nothing. Without the flood management system, it comes first. There is very little high ground uh, in South Florida. So, so what do we know about infrastructure? First of all, we know that infrastructure reflects, tends to reflect what communities value. It, infrastructure is supposed to serve a community's economy. We know that infrastructure always has built-in limitations. I say this as an engineer, I don't know, do we have any engineers in the room? We always have engineers in the room, yes. So all infrastructure, it has designed built-in limitations. Um, let me give you the limitation of the South Florida, the design limitation of the South Florida flood management system, get ready. It was designed in the 1940s and 50s to serve a maximum population of 2 million people. <laughs> that is a terrifying fact, okay? Because it's like driving over a bridge in a Mack truck that was designed, it was like driving over a, a bicycle bridge in, in, a, big, in a big truck. We, our infrastructure is serving four times. <laughs> 